Hello again, it's me Jeanette, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy dinner. This is going to be macaroni with tuna in it. So, I have a family of five, so I use two boxes of Kraft macaroni and cheese. This can be done with any kind of macaroni and cheese, really. Two cans of tuna, I use the kind in water. I got a pot of boiling water over here. And I put a little bit of salt in the water. And then I'm gonna make some garlic toast with it. So I just took some bread. I preheated the oven to 425. I try not to do broil anymore because I forget about it and it burns. So spread some butter or margarine on the bread. Um, Wonder Bread. And it was the last of it, so I'm just using some of the heels or butts or whatever you call it. So, the bread is buttered. Now, after the water keeps stops boiling, I mean starts boiling, I'll show you what to do next. Right now, let's put the bread in the oven. We have cats. Oh, uh, maybe I'm forgetting something, huh? It's supposed to be garlic bread. So, this is why I like to use McCormick garlic bread sprinkle. Can't forget that. I knew I was forgetting something. So, sprinkle a little bit of this on each bread piece. Now I can put it in the oven. It's not preheated, but I don't always preheat on things like this. That's why I kind of put extra minutes too. If it's already preheated, I would say five minutes. So the water's getting ready to boil. So I'm putting away the butter with canola oil in it. This is inside my fridge. Look at that. Look at that fridge. This is my sweet iced tea. Watch my video from how to make sweet iced tea for this recipe. Delicious. Okay, so turn it back around. I always look to make sure it's not expired, which it's not. Even if it is, it's still, you can still eat it, it's still edible, it's just not as fresh. It's usually not the noodles that are a problem, it's the um, cheese mix in here. It can get like really stuck together if it's old or kept in the wrong temperatures. So the cheese won't spread as well. 
So open up the boxes. So this is for five people. So if you got a smaller family, you may need only one box. And we to a little bit more. I'm picking up the butter I spilled on the counter. Want to take a lick? Bones. I'm going to put these in. I'm to stir it up a little bit right after I put it in. So there it is in the pot. Before I throw the box away, which I a lot of times do, I'll throw the box away before looking at the minutes. I don't have them memorized. Let's see. Seven minutes and 30 seconds to eight minutes. So I'll put it on for eight minutes. So that, well, the timer is four minutes. So I'll just, I'll just say, I'll just put on another four when that timer goes out for the bread. Now I can throw away the boxes. So while that's happening, I could undo the tuna cans. I like to use Star Kissed. And no, by far, this is not a healthy meal. So open the tuna cans, get them ready. Come over here and clean the box. Then we off the tuna juice. And we have a separate can opener for the cat food. Not all the cat food cans open with the, the top thing, so we have our own a can we have another can opener sp specifically for the cat food. Okay, so now I gotta drain the tuna a little bit. You don't want all that juice in there and make it cold and stuff. So now I have to go get the boxes back out of the trash because I have to remember how much butter or milk to put in and double it because I'm making two boxes. So, here we go. Pick the box back out of the trash. So, I will be needing four tablespoons of margarine times two is eight. And then, instead of one fourth cup of milk, I'm going to need one half a cup of milk. Look at my chart right here. Eight tablespoons equals a half a cup. So it's going to be half a cup of margarine butter stuff. So I need another half of a cup. So I got to put the for a minute gotta change the timer. Here 
and then I'm going to get my stuff ready to put in there. First, I'm going to stir the noodles over here a little bit more. Keep them from sticking to the pan. I'm going to stir them up while cooking. Okay. So, you can use whole milk or whatever. I use 1% milk. Half a cup of this. So. Now you can make this healthy if you want. You can use a lot less margarine fat-free milk. Um, you can add other stuff, other meats if you want. That wouldn't make it healthier. But you can make this recipe too with ground beef. Just make sure you cook the ground beef first before you put it in there. And ground turkey and ground chicken, they all work. Okay. Some people, when they make it, the macaroni and tuna, they don't want, they don't put the cheese in, that's fine. I like to put the cheese packs in ours. Can you smell that tuna? Does that smell good to you? Throw this back in the trash again. Get them toast. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the toast off. So clear off. And then I got a few more minutes for the macaroni and cheese, so I'm going to clear that off. And then I'm going to get a strainer for the pasta. There's some juice, tuna juice in there, so rinse it out. Okay. The colander. Now I got to get the hot pasta in there. Pour it in there. It's okay if some sticks on the bottom, I'll just leave it. So to keep it from getting cold, when I put the, the tuna and margarine in and stuff, I turn it on low. Or else he's getting water. Oh, he's running away really fast. Okay. Let's get back with cooking. Okay, so I have that on low. Stir it up a little bit. Add in the butter. 
let that melt till it almost all the way. Okay. There you go. And I stir in the milk. So now the milk's in there. Add one package. Since I'm making two, I'm going to add, add one package now and then one on top of the tuna. So. I'm making a cooking video without Carissa. Oh no! I'm telling them how to make the healthy meal of macaroni and cheese and tuna. Oops, I just kicked the stove. Well, oh. oh, I can sit down. Mm -hmm. So I got that one package in. I looked out my window and there was a bird looking at me <laughs> from the roof. Oh no, bird can spy on you. <laughs> How do you know it's not a robotic bird or something? The FBI. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I put the tuna in there. And Chris, I can set the table. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Can. Right. And after I mix that tin, so that's sat, and then I still got one more cheese pack to put in. They thought they could go video with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Yeah. yeah. That's why I zoom late at night so you don't get in them some more. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too much meat is a bad thing. So do you like macaroni and tuna, Krista? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. And I'm attracting the kittens because they probably smell the tuna. So then we just got to get the bread out. butts in there. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got macaroni and cheese with tuna and we got garlic bread toast. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give Krista a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe to us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.